Okay, so uh, at my brother's house, and what we have here, we have uh, some. Well, these are supposed to be tombstones, so obviously you put the name there, but they are of different rock, which I don't really know what type of rock they are because I don't know the location where they were from, but we can have an educated guess of what they are. So tombstones, uh, they use all different types, they use sedimentary, igneous, I believe this is igneous, this is probably a diorite, uh, dolerite, whatever they call it, uh, in other places, because you can see it has crystal structure, looks like it has some feldspars, uh, yeah some feldspars, not much quartz, so it's a mafic rock. It has, um, let me put my glasses on. Okay, so, you can see some quartz, just a little bit. But it's probably mostly feldspars. I can see, it's probably amphibole, hornblende. I don't know the actual makeup. And, uh, looks like we might have some micas. So, yeah, that's a mafic a diabase. In the back... What we have is uh, typical granite, so or maybe even just a granodiorite, because in Victoria mostly uh, granodiorites are not granites. So the actual rock in this one we have a, so this is the grey feldspars, then we have the calcium or sodium, uh, probably more like calcium feldspars, and then we have some because this has been crushed, uh, polished, you don't see the actual surface, so it's a, a type of horn blend. We also micas as well, but I can't see. Yeah, yeah, it does have some micas. Uh, Muscovite. So there's two slabs of those. So that's uh, probably uh, a, a grano diorite. Could even just be granite. So there is some confusion in Victoria with it. these are classified as granites so or granodiorites could be either. Uh, this one is looks like a metamorphic rock. It has uh, the foliation flow structures. So this is probably a a nice, but I don't know of any nice uh, rock that's actually in Victoria. So this is probably imported from somewhere else. And if we look at it, so we have probably amphibole horn blend. Then we have micas. Oh no, not micas, I mean uh, potassium feldspars. Then we have some probably quartz and uh, orpha clays and plagia clays. So we have differentiation in the actual melting uh, and you can see it's actually been very crystallized uh, so that's probably a nice and the last one that we have uh, this looks like just a typical quartz uh, rich with uh, potassium feldspars uh, off clays and it because it's cut it probably does have some micas in it but I can't tell which is the micas and which is the actual uh, horn blend amphibole so this is definitely a quartz because it has a lot of uh, potassium rich uh, feldspars in it makes it a pink color and even the areas that's not polished is actually quite pink so that's a quartz. So I've got quartz. Probably another. Oh, no, quartz. Granite. Granite. Granodiorite. Uh, that is. Diorite. And a nice. So.